Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. Um, in today's episode, we are going to be talking about dream interpretation. Finding out what kind of dreams are signs that we need to take a look at. What are the gods trying to tell us? Are we receiving signs or is it just our subconscious? We will find that out right here in this episode. Alright, so... I'm going to first tell you about um, the kind of dreams that we should really be looking at. So, of course, most of us dream pretty much every night. Uh, sometimes we don't remember them. Sometimes we don't have dreams and we just see black. What does that mean? Okay. So, if we don't have dreams... It is because we don't have enough vibration to remember anything or to actually retain any spiritual recordings. Basically, we do not have enough energy to perceive the dreams. That is why uh, daily meditation is a good idea to keep your vibrations up. The more spiritual exercises you do, the higher your vibration goes the more profound your dreams are going to be. The stronger the signal and the more realistic the dreams are going to be. Now, have you ever had one of those dreams where not only do you remember it, but it leaves an impression on you, like you wish you could go back or a, a familiar, warming uh, kind of feeling? that you remember and it seems so real, you swear it was reality. This is what the dream means. This is, it could be a couple of things, but mainly uh, what a lot of people have uh, on this subject have come to a conclusion on is that uh, every time we go to sleep, we astral project. We are able to traverse the spirit realm, most often we don't have any control over this. There are brief periods when people have what they call lucid dreams, where we are able to control what is going on in our dream. That is us having power in the spirit realm. This is why our vibrations, we need to keep them up, or else we can have more uh, dreams like this. But basically, these kinds of dreams, they're not really dreams at all. They are real experiences that our spiritual bodies, our true forms, are having. And this is something that is great because uh, <clears throat> not only does it allow your spirit to pick up energies, uh, to absorb positive, good energies, um, but it also allows us to perceive signs from higher powers that watch over us, whether it be our guardian angels, whether it be an ancestor, or a god that we are connected to. I am going to tell you about a dream that I had a, quite a, uh, it had to be like four or five days ago. And this was a dream that I remembered and it left an impression on me. I wish I could go back. It was incredible. It was real. I remember everything clearly. And it left a lasting emotional oppression on me. And these are the signs that this is something more than a dream. This is a sign. This is a mess, like a message coming through from the spirit realm. All right, so the dream started off with me being on a busy highway. And all of a sudden, uh, I'm driving a bus on this highway, and there's a bus also that pulls up beside me full of young kids. They're driving, which is very strange, but <clears throat> these dreams are often, you know, uh, dream reality is a complete mockery of our reality. It's kind of, it's really funny, actually. But anyway, 
Uh, so one of the young girls that is in the bus, she jumps from her bus to mine while we're driving on this busy highway, and I catch her. But in doing so, we drive off the highway, past the guardrail, we push through it, and go into the ocean. But it's not as horrible as it sounds. It's not like I'm drowning or anything. All of a sudden, I see myself sinking, and everything gets dark. I'm now in this dark undersea realm. All of a sudden, I see lights come about, and there's a huge underwater city. And then to my right, there's a huge underwater forest. Everything is under the ocean. The girl is no longer there. I don't know where she went. But I see people around me working these machines from my old job. They're all working around me, and I am... I seem to be the only one to notice their presence. They don't notice mine. They just are working at their jobs. However, there's this young man. I swear I had a feeling like I knew him. And at the same time that I'm having this dream, I'm feeling a sense of familiarity, almost like if you were to go to a family reunion. You know, it's a heartwarming feeling. I feel like I, I am supposed to be here, and I'm happy to be here, and I'm very comfortable. This young man, he's smiling, and his smile really lights up the room. He comes over to me and gives me a hug, and as we're hugging, I do feel like a sense of comfort. There is no, no matter how dark it is, and I have no idea where I am, there is no fear. It is a nice, heartwarming feeling. And then, all of a sudden, after he's done hugging me, Above, I can see the surface, the sky. There is a lightning storm appearing above me, and the rain is somehow seeping through the ocean. I can feel the raindrops, but the lightning is not able to pierce through. It is truly incredible, and all of a sudden I wake up. Now, um, when people have these kinds of dreams, they don't know how to interpret them. And sometimes, even if they think they have an idea of how to interpret them, they don't know if that interpretation is right. You know, what if the gods were trying to tell me something else? What if I interpreted it wrong? Or what if it's nothing at all? I'm here to shed some light and to ease some of your uh, worries and answer your questions. So, first off, how do we know that this is even a sign at all and not just a dream? Because of the emotional impact, if you feel a vibration in your chakras, whether it be your heart chakra or another one of your chakras is vibrating after one of those dreams, that means that it left a residual spiritual energy with you. It resonated with you on a spiritual level. That means, you know, this is something more. Plus... Having great memory of it, having the dream being more vivid and more real, that is another way of uh, knowing that it's not just an ordinary dream. It means something. And the, um, the impact it had on me emotionally and spiritually, it's, it's still with me even four or five days later. I haven't forgotten it one bit. Those are how you know it's more. Now, how to interpret the dream? Well, to interpret a dream, we have to analyze it bit by bit. We have to take pieces of it and analyze them one by one in order to get the clear-cut answer. And how will you know that this is the right answer? The same way you know it's not just a dream because you will start vibrating. Your energy will start vibrating. And that is how you know uh, it is something more. It's called your gut instinct. It is right here in your abdomen. It's your uh, solar plexus chakra. And it resonates with you when there's something true going on. If you are being told a lie, it will not vibrate at all. It will be still. It will be cold. It won't be moving. So that's how you know between um, the truth and a lie. That is how... Um, Actually, for example, 
when I read one of my spiritual books, how do I know that the author is telling the truth or even knows what they're talking about? Because when I read, my solar plexus starts to vibrate and I start feeling this energy all over my body. And I know in my heart that it is true. I know that my chakras know it's true. My spirit knows it's true. Therefore, I know it's true. Fun fact. Real fun fact. So anyway, we're going to take uh, my dream into account, for example, and analyze it bit by bit and what it has to do with my life. Okay, so I'm on a busy highway. Busy highway could mean uh, the highway of life. Uh, it's it's fast-paced. You have to be aware of what you're doing. You have to pay attention. Uh, anything could go wrong at the uh, last minute. And you have to rely on your common sense to maneuver safely through this. Now, why am I driving a bus? I'm trucking along. I'm moving along on the, uh, on the highway of life. Now, there is a second bus with kids coming up behind, uh, beside me. What does that mean? It could mean that another part of myself is in sync with the person I am now. My younger self is now becoming balanced with who I am now as an adult man. So the girl jumping from one end to another, that could be my feminine side because everyone is supposed to have a masculine and a feminine energy that is the yin yang, that is how we balance. So she's going onto my bus meaning that my my female and male energy, my masculine and feminine energies are becoming one. We're on the same page. I am becoming balanced and synchronized. Now, me driving off the highway, going through the guardrail, I'm breaking through barriers. I'm going into the ocean. I'm going into a, a new level. I'm trying a, a new way of life. I am submerged in an area of my life that I am not used to. I am going out of my comfort zone. Everything going dark. Things are becoming clear. Um, when everything goes dark and I start to see the forest and the undersea city, things are becoming clear of mind. Uh, the girl is no longer with me. That means that we are one. We are, uh, I am a balanced person. My life is in balance. Everything is in proper balance. Uh, the people around me doing work, not noticing me, I am no longer following what people expect of me. Uh, what does that have to do with my life? Well, uh, a little while ago, I was laid off from my job, and um, I've been basically living off my savings at the time, and I'm uh, working on uh, certain investments, certain projects to try and uh, make these like certain side hustles into an actual business. And a lot of people in my family are in disagreement of that. But I ignore them, and I go the way I think I should be going. I am not one of the masses anymore. I am the one bright spot. I am no longer part of the norm. And everything from my past, because all of the machines uh, are from my past job, the past is gone, and I am no longer a part of that. I am working on the future. The uh, familiarity, the feeling of comfort, that everything will be okay. The, uh, the man that I never met yet feel so familiar with is probably, it could be an ancestor, it could be uh, a god in disguise, uh, it could be a guardian angel, you know, in another form. He's hugging me, he's saying it's going to be okay, uh, which means that if I keep moving along this path of life, things will work out in my favor. I just got to keep my eye on the prize and stay focused to what my goals are. And then he stops hugging me. There's a storm above me, uh, which could represent the stress that I'm feeling because I don't know 
myself if what I'm doing is going to work out or will I will my goals fail but no I can't think like that seeing the lightning is not striking me the rain is falling on me and rain is often a sign of prosperity you know during a drought the rain falls it creates life it creates plant life it also brings life to uh people who are in need of uh drink it could be um a drink of knowledge it could be I learned something new or it pours. When it rains, it pours. It pours down. It could be that uh, financially my finances could be, you know, pouring down like rain, you know, and I will be very prosperous. The lightning is not touching me because all the negative things that I'm worrying about are not going to affect me as long as I stay true to myself. I can feel the rain on me. It feels cool, but not cold, which means that, you know, it is going to grace me with bounty. Life is going to be all right, and it's going to grace me with bounty. No matter how bad things get in our country or in my life, everything is going to be okay. And that's where the dream ends. That is how you would analyze a dream. Now, I understand not everyone has an idea similar to mine. Um, but, like I said, this resonates with me in my heart, so I'm going with this. Uh, same thing with, you know, beauty. Advice is, uh, and signs are the eye of the beholder. Signs from the gods are the eye of the beholder. They are what you perceive them to be. It's all about perception. And if that perception resonates with you, that is a surefire sign that you are on the right track. Now, I understand this is a, a lot to deal with. Some people, they don't even know where to start with dream interpretation. You just got to pick at it piece by piece. Do a little brainstorming. Uh, write it down on a piece of paper. Take each part of the dream. Put it in sections. So, put a section, you know, let's say your dream was about um, being in a meadow on a sunny day. So put sunny day meadow, section one. And then all of a sudden you were flying in the sky. Okay, flight, sky, section two. And write down everything you were feeling, uh, what you think it could mean, everything you experienced during these sections. And then at the end of this, take all of the brainstorming notes that you have made and write them down in what you think they could mean. And if it resonates with you, yes. If not, keep looking. Keep looking. It, uh, it isn't easy. And in fact, I actually have a couple books that I still need to read on dream interpretation because I'm not a full-on expert. But it is not something that's true rocket science either. So if you guys are having a hard time with a dream, put it down in the comments and see if um, either I can help you or maybe someone who has done this before can help you. And uh, we'll try our best to, to help you along. Because in this channel, it's all about helping you move along your spiritual path, helping you grow spiritually. I am here to help. All right, so that is all for now. Thank you guys for joining me on Spiritual Essence. I hope to see you next time, and feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my new videos. All right, bye-bye now.